these are okay. This is going to be for the in person kids, or if you have access to a printer at your house, or if you would like to work on your personal images. I can print one for you and you can come up to the school to get it, okay? So if you are virtual, you do not want to do your own. You may pick one of the three options that are available for you. Now, we're going to start with an image. This is for your assignment number two, which is your last project in the class, okay? What you're gonna need is a photo of you or the reference image and a blank sheet of paper or your sketchbook. You need a ruler, you need a pencil. If you don't have a ruler at this time, you are behind. Now, this is a selfie of me that I took. Look how cute. So, we're again using the inside. Okay, if you look, some rulers have the zero starting off further than some other rulers, okay? So this is, y'all look at the edge of this ruler and look at where the zero is, okay? This much space, if you start at the wrong place, your first grid is going to be off. So we don't want that to happen. We want everything to be one inch or half an inch. Because you're gonna be working on something extremely detailed for this project, I suggest doing half an inch. Obviously, if you don't have access to a printout, you won't be able to grid your own for the reference image. So you'll have to use the one inch reference images. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to place my ruler with the zero starting at the very edge. So you do have to have a straight edge. Now, my ruler is not all the way over here because I wanna make sure that I start where my photo starts, which is right here. So starting at the zero, I'm going to do every half an inch and then I might even crop my image. So every half an inch, I'm going to make a mark. And it depends on how dark your photos are, you can use a colored marker, a colored pen, or you can use your pencil if you're able to see it. Six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. I'm probably just going to do it up to eight. So I have eight inches of my image. So again, this is the half an inch mark, okay? We're not using the centimeter size. These are much smaller, and this is not the unit of measurement that we're using. We will be using the half inch size. So you can pay attention, please. So you're gonna be using the one inch side, and the half inch side. So I've already done, mark my side. Next. So the way that I did this, I had my zero facing up, okay? I still see a lot of you trying to flip this over and starting on this side. Please do not flip your ruler. You'll have to make sure that you just scoot it back, okay? I did not flip the ruler. I'm scooting it to this side. Again, having a straight edge as my reference. every half an inch. This is the half inch mark. Please make sure that you know exactly where your marks are before you put them down. If you can't see them, you won't be able to use them. So I have decided to crop my image, even though it goes all the way to 10, I've decided to crop my image at eight inches. Okay, so now I have a line on both sides or my marks on both sides. So with the last line, because this is my eight inch line, I'm going to connect and cross, okay? 
Okay, so this line is where I'm cropping my image. And you do have to have your entire face in there and a little bit at the bottom, okay? So you're not just a floating head. If you do not have two points, please remember, if you do not have two points down, you cannot draw your straight line. Do not estimate where the lines are gonna go. Do not guess. You have to have your two points to create your straight line. Now, I'm gonna work on my top. Here's a top grid. So with the measurements already, I have from zero, again, we're starting at the zero, and it's seven and a quarter. I mean, I'm sorry, seven and a half, okay? I'm actually going to crop this at seven. So that's where my seven mark is. So I'm gonna do every half an inch. until I get to my seven. Again, without flipping my ruler or anything like that, I'm gonna come to this bottom line. Again, starting at the zero. See how where my shirt is kind of dark? I really can't see, but if this wasn't done in pencil, I would be able to see the marks. So if you have um, a marker of some sort, a red pen, a color pencil. So here's my seven, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and connect my top and my bottom seven to already crop the image. And from here to here is where my image is. So your lines can go across whatever, it does not matter. So now I have my top, my bottom, my left, and my right side already gridded out. So this is where you're going to connect. And I'm connecting all of my grids. So when you are done, this is what you have. Now, the second part is also for you virtual students. With your sheet of paper, you're going to do the exact same thing. So once you have your reference image gridded, you're really just skipping the reference image step, okay? So with you, so remember, on this reference image, I crop my image at eight inches by seven inches. So I wanna do the same thing on this sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. So with my zero, line it up, and I'm gonna go to eight inches. Make my mark, scoot my ruler over, not flipping. Go to the eight inches, draw my line, Now, I'm going to crop the top. Remember, I cropped it at seven inches. Again, scooting my ruler down, not flipping the ruler. Go to my seven inches, two dots, connect my points. And now I have the section that I will be drawing. So once I have this, now virtual students, I'm gonna show you in just a little bit on how you're gonna count your grid because you're not taking a ruler up to that grid. So again, you're going to be drawing your own grid like we have been. And the grid that's going to be on your white sheet of paper is going to obviously be half an inch. So you wanna make sure that you place that exactly where it goes. And then I'm scooting this over. Again, if you do not have two points, you're not drawing a line. 
You have to make sure that your ruler is straight. It is lined up against it. So now that I have two points, I'm going to be drawing my line. And some of you guys are like, okay, so if your lines are up here where you did your mark, some of you guys are putting the ruler all the way down here. I don't know why y'all are doing that because the line is up here. Okay, so make sure that you guys are lining it up to get your line. And you're gonna go so on and so forth, all the way across, measure the same thing up top. Okay, do your half inch. Again, please do not use the centimeters. It looks very similar. But please do not use the centimeters. The grid is the most important part of this assignment. If you do not get the grid part correct, you will not have the correct reference. You cannot draw this correctly. And the reason why I'm doing half an inch is because it's going to be a lot easier for me to look at my reference and look at every single little half inch grid where if I was to draw my hair here, I would do light, dark, and then a part of my face. Okay, so this is what you will be doing in person students. Now. Let me share my, okay, for virtual students. You will click on the assignment for your grid method assignment number two. Here are your reference images. So for example, if you're doing this grid of young Brad Pitt, you're gonna count the amount of grid you have. So every grid is one inch. So you have one, two, three, four, five. And then this one is all already labeled. So this is eight inches. So when you draw your white sheet of paper making your own grid, you're going to be doing eight inches. Okay, that's eight inches up and down. Now you're gonna count the grid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight inches across. So you will now have a square on your paper. So the exact same way that I just did mine, you will be doing the exact same thing, except it completely skips you having to draw this grid on here. Do not take your ruler and measure each, how big this grid is, it doesn't matter. You're gonna think of each grid as one inch. Now, when you go to the second one, here is an image of Adele. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's seven. So that's seven down, and then you have one, two, three, four, five across. So you would do a five by seven image. Now, this one, because the grid is a little bit bigger, it's going to be a little more difficult for you. So, unless you can properly use this one, I don't suggest you using this one. This one I'm assuming is Abraham Lincoln. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, it's really nine and a little bit. You can crop that off, so if you want it to be at nine, that's fine. Then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, really six. So your grid will be six inches across. This is not a full grid. So you'll be doing the exact same thing, subtracting the part where you have to grid your own image. Please get started. Christian, did you send me a picture? Huh? 